the death of the Great Barrier Reef to the deadliest nuclear accident ever here on nine of the world's worst environmental disasters. Welcome to Weird Wonders Wednesday. Number nine. Dead zones are hypoxic areas, or areas of low oxygen, located in oceans and larger lakes. The condition is thought to be caused in part by pollution that depletes the oxygen necessary to support marine life found at lower depths. The largest recurring hypoxic area in the U.S. is off the coast of Louisiana in the Gulf of Mexico and was discovered in 1950. The Gulf is polluted with sewage dumped from the Mississippi River, that's the drainage area, for 41% of the continental U.S. The area of low oxygen water occurs several weeks each summer and can encompass more than 8,400 square miles. The effects of low oxygen environments upon fish include decreased reproduction and suffocation. Slower moving creatures like crabs and lobsters can't escape the area and all colonial animals die out. Number 8 you no doubt recognize Easter Island, also called Rapa Nui, by its famous Moai statues, of which 887 have been found. But did you know this island has a history of environmental problems? At one point, the indigenous population numbered around 15,000 and comprised a thriving, industrious culture. By the time the first Europeans arrived in 1722, that number had diminished to no more than 3,000. That sharp drop is thought to have happened within a century. Many scientists theorize that the island's ecology was altered by factors including deforestation. The lush forests were cleared to provide wood for fire and canoes and to transport the huge Moai figures. But the loss of taller trees meant the inhabitants couldn't build canoes to fish, and with the native forests destroyed, the topsoil became unusable for agriculture. Potential food sources like birds died out, and over 20 species of trees and fowl went extinct. The combination of diminishing resources and over population devastated the Rapa Nui people. Number 7. Gulf War Oil Spill when coalition forces advanced on Iraq during the Persian Gulf War of 1991, the Iraqi military undertook a scorched earth policy, setting more than 700 oil wells on fire as they fled from Kuwait. The fires burned for some 10 months before finally being capped. Smoke from the fires affected weather around the Persian Gulf region and produced days of carbon soot fallout. Greater damage may have been caused by unburned oil. Some 50 million barrels spilled to form around 300 oil lakes, which contaminated millions of tons of earth and sand. The consequences of that occurrence are still unknown. It's considered to be one of the largest oil spills in history. Number 6. Dust Bowls During the 1930s, prairies in the U.S. and Canada were hit by severe dust storms that damaged agriculture and the ecology. Severe drought struck the Great Plains in the 1930s, resulting in the erosion of topsoil due to farming practices of the period. Over time, the topsoil became powdery. High winds swept through the Plains region and picked up that soil, resulting in massive dust storms that came to characterize the Dust Bowl period. The drought arrived in three waves from 1934 to 1940. One of the worst storms occurred in 1935 during an event known as Black Sunday. That's when 20 so-called black blizzards formed across the Great Plains from Canada to Texas. The dust storms caused extensive damage and visibility was said to be no more than five feet. It was actually in the reporting of this occurrence that the term Dust Bowl was first coined. Dust Bowl conditions forced some three and a half million people out of the Plains states and that was one of the largest migrations in U.S. history. Number 5. Pacific Trash Vortex. It's also known as the Great Pacific Garbage Patch. It's located in the northern Pacific Ocean, and by some estimates, it's thought to be about twice the size of the continental United States, and it seems to be getting bigger. It was first described by researchers in 1988 and lies roughly midway between Japan and the west coast of the U.S. So how did it form? A Gaia, or vortex, is located in the ocean. Its rotational pattern pulls in waste matter from across the northern Pacific Pacific. Floating debris is pushed along by wind-driven surface currents, which steadily push it toward the center of the vortex, where it is trapped. 
The trash can range in size from minuscule pieces of plastic to massive chunks. Experts tell us the majority of waste material comes from the illegal dumping or littering of manufacturing products, including plastics. The trash vortex can pose a hazard to wildlife and humans. Animals can mistake the plastic as a food source, resulting in toxic effects, and humans can be affected by eating fish that have consumed the plastic. Number 4. The Aral Sea. Its name translates as Sea of Islands, and that's a reference to the many islands that once occupied the waters of Uzbekistan. The Aral Sea was actually a huge lake that covered more than 26,000 square miles. It was once teeming with marine life and was a source of bustling trade routes for nearby communities. Now, only around 2,000 square miles of water remain, and that has been split into four lakes. Stark images of rusted out ships stranded in the desert are the only remnants of that sea trade. The Aral Sea has been shrinking since the 1960s, and that's when the Soviet government decided to divert its water toward the production of cotton and additional goods. Irrigation began in the 1940s, with canals built to divert the water, of which an estimated 75% went to waste. Water levels dropped steadily from the 1960s to the 1980s, by which time the sea was nearly drained. By that point, its local fishing industry had died, and the waters had turned and toxic. Increased salinity and a buildup of fertilizer poisoning the lake led to occurrences of cancer and other health problems for the locals. Number 3. Not too long ago, there were claims that Australia's Great Barrier Reef was dead. While that is not exactly true, a new study shows that the natural wonder could be on life support. A 700-mile swath of reefs in the northern section has lost around 67% of its corals over the past nine months or so. That's the largest die-off of corals ever recorded at the Great Barrier Reef, according to experts. The loss of corals is attributed to the effects of coral bleaching. That occurs when ocean temperatures rise and algae is expelled from coral tissue. That also causes a loss of pigmentation, turning the corals stark white or transparent. Bleached corals are weak and less resistant to disease. Unless they're quickly repopulated, corals will die. Many scientists think that rising ocean temperatures are a result of climate change. Fertilizer and pesticide runoff also take a toll on the corals. An estimated 93% of the Great Barrier Reef has been affected by the destructive bleaching, and it could take up to 15 years to regain the affected corals. Some experts claim this is Australia's biggest ever environmental disaster. Number 2. The Exxon Valdez was an oil tanker en route to California when it struck Prince William Sound's Bly Reef in 1989. Over the next few days, up to 38 million gallons of crude oil spilled into the Alaskan waters, resulting in one of the most devastating environmental disasters on record. The area's remote location made it difficult to construct swift response efforts to the massive spill. The oil eventually polluted some 1,300 miles of coastline and 11,000 square square miles of ocean. Despite massive cleanup efforts, less than 10% of the oil spill was recovered. Impact upon local wildlife was devastating. Among the animals killed were a quarter million seabirds, 2,800 sea otters, and some 300 harbor seals. Orcas and an unknown number of salmon perished as well. Around 20 years after the spill, researchers found that species like killer whales still suffered long-term losses, and that more than 21,000 gallons of oil still remained on the beaches of Prince William Sound. Number 1 Chernobyl. The Chernobyl disaster happened in 1986 in Ukraine, then part of the Soviet Union. A combination of inherent design flaws and operator error resulted in what is widely considered history's worst nuclear power plant disaster in terms of cost and casualties. A massive steam explosion and graphite fire sent radioactive isotopes into the atmosphere for nine days. Much of the surface of Europe and the western USSR was contaminated by fallout. Over 200 people suffered 
suffered acute radiation poisoning, of whom 31 died within a few months. The environmental impact was severe. Radioactive contaminants in rivers weren't expected to completely dissolve for up to a thousand years. Four square kilometers of pine forest turned reddish-brown and died. That area became known as the Red Forest. In the worst-hit areas, some animals were born with ghastly mutations like missing eyes or heads, extra or missing limbs, and deformed skulls. Even decades after the event, animals and livestock have exhibited levels of residual radiation traced to Chernobyl. Experts think after effects might be seen for another 100 years. Welcome to Weird Wonders Wednesday.